I'm recording a number of videos and I've called them True Stories in the Life of Ronnie B. And I'm talking now about a court case that I had with a former employee. And I'm telling the truth. Everything that I say is the truth. Now if it's not the truth, I want the person I'm talking about to come online and write to me online on this uh, blog and tell me what's not the truth. Okay? What I want to do now is talk about Christine's track record. Christine was using my business to run a business of her own while being paid by the hour by me. She was selling life insurance in my time, being paid by the hour, using my phone, my computer, my stamps, envelopes, the letterbox, the whole bit. And being paid by the hour and taking commission, 90% of what she earned from selling insurance. I, the last uh, person she worked for was a bloke called Brian Staniford from the Staniford Insurance Brokers. And I know Brian reasonably well. So I went to see him to find out why Christine had left. He said there were arguments over the insurance commissions. But he wouldn't tell me anything else. He wouldn't go into any detail. But he did tell me that she was known to the police. So well, that's interesting. So I went to see the police. I took my accountant with me. And I went to see a, a Sergeant Kevin Burns. And Mr Burns told me that Christine Bennett, he knew of her, and she was a white-collar criminal. And he said, there's lots of white-collar criminals around the country. It's a popular pastime because there is no blood. That's exactly what he said. And he also said she was hungry for money. And if, he, if I kept her employed, she'd make me a lot of money. And later on, when this whole thing blew up, I went back to the police station to, to see him again, but he wasn't there. He'd left the police force, but he left no, no record of me actually, actually being to see him. But the police officer told me that where he lived, and he lived actually across the road from where I live, in my street. So I went across to see him. And I said, hello Kevin, do you remember me? Yes, he said, and I said, and what happened to the records? Did you keep a record of when I went to see you? He said, yes, of course I did. And I said, will you come down to the police station and find them? Because they can't find them. Wow! He yelled and screamed, ordered me off his property. And I wasn't even on his property. <laughs> I was standing on the road. Anyway, I knew he was guilty. Now I want to talk to you about a lady called Gaylene Bennett. She was the uh, franchise holder for um, Harvey Will Travel. And she's the one that dismissed Christine. And she wouldn't tell me anything. She said, no, I've signed a confidenti confidentiality agreement that I can't tell you anything. So... I then went to the Harvey World's travel staff and started asking some of the staff what had actually happened. Why had Christine left? And one girl told me she left because she assaulted another workmate. She hit her. Well, I, I, I didn't know what I had in my hands then. So anyway... Um, they gave her a reference. They had, the, the must, she must have went and got a, a lawyer. And they got together and they gave, she gave her some money to go away. And, and they gave her a reference. And the reference was the one that she gave me. It was part of the settlement. So it was fake. fake. So here she had a lump sum of money for hitting a girl and, and, and a workmate. She had a fake reference. She had a... Um, a confidentiality agreement so she couldn't tell anybody. This is the employment law in New Zealand. And a friend of mine who's got a business uh, uh, said to me one day, he said, oh, well, I've just been through the same thing. He said, one of my workmates hit me as well and took me to, it took, went to a solicitor and I had to pay him thousands of dollars 
give them a, give them a reference and, and, and a conf, sign a confidentiality agreement. I even went to her parents and she said, oh, they told me she was a great hard worker. And she is. She's a very hard worker, Christine. No doubt about that. But she's a, she's, she has investment properties in Auckland, Australia. She has a holiday home in Twizel. She owns two wine bars. She's hungry for money. She has a partner called Harry Travail. And I went to see them after the blow up. I said, are you going to dismiss me? She said, are you going to dismiss me, Ron? I said, no, I'm going to keep you on and make you an honest person. You're a good hard worker, Christine. And, and I'm going to keep you on. And you've got to prove to me that you're honest. I don't care what you do. At least tell me. If it's, if it's dishonest, own up. Because some of the things you've done have been real dishonest. You know, she was selling insurance policies, life insurance policies, on her own family and getting the commissions up front. She insured all her family, but they didn't insure her. She owned all the policies. And then Harry, her partner, was made redundant. She came to me and said, oh, can I go home because Harry's just been made redundant? And then she came back and said, I'm not, we're not really worried because we're going to take a personal grievance claim against the company anyway. She was setting them up, one after the other. Hey, Christine, I'm sorry, but it has to be told. Now, I'll come back to you later. I'll have a breather. I get a bit upset over this.